Little Miss Scatterbrain Causes Chaos. Roger Hargreaves. Little Miss Scatterbrain was always forgetting things. Whenever she met Mr. Small, she would call out, What a fine day, Mr. Tall! Can you believe it? She really was a scatterbrain. On this particular day, Little Miss Scatterbrain went to the grocer's. Three onions, five tomatoes and two big carrots, please, she said. Are you making a soup? asked the shopkeeper. Not at all, replied Little Miss Scatterbrain, surprised. I'm making a fruit salad for my birthday. And off she went with her vegetables. What a scatterbrain! And you'll never guess what she did next. She got into Mr. Topsy Turvy's car by mistake and drove off. Car! he shouted. Someone stolen my thief! As usual, he had got his words the wrong way round. Or was it the right way wrong? And you won't be surprised to know that Mr. Topsy Turvy's car could only drive backwards. Little Miss Scatterbrain was even more confused than usual. She stopped to ask a cow the way home. Moo! replied the cow. How very scatterbrained to ask a cow the way home. Mr. Topsy Turvy went straight to the police station. A car, he explained, has taken my thief. You mustn't help me. It took the poor policeman a long time to work out what Mr. Topsy Turvy was trying to say. On the other side of the town, Mr. Jelly was having a very bad day. He'd heard a strange noise coming from downstairs and, as you can imagine, this made him very nervous. In fact, he was hiding under his bed, shaking like a jelly. Home at last, said little Miss Scatterbrain. But how odd! I was sure my kitchen was green. Never mind, I must get cooking. In the meantime, trembling and shaking like a leaf, Mr. Jelly had made his way downstairs to find out what the noise was. Imagine his shock when he saw a strange figure in his kitchen. A figure with a large, sharp knife. Help me! He stammered, calling the police. Burglars! Bandits! Pirates! Oh, calamity! Do not fear, Mr. Jelly. We're on our way, said the policeman. You'd better come with me, Mr. Topsy Turvy, said the policeman. This terrible crime might have something to do with your missing car. With sirens blaring, Mr. Topsy Turvy and the policeman arrived at Mr. Jelly's house. My cat! I mean, my carpet! I mean, my... exclaimed Mr. Topsy Turvy. Car, sir! said the policeman, helpfully. Psst! The p -p pirates are in the kitchen! whispered Mr. Jelly to the policeman. Leave this to me, replied the policeman. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, sang little Miss Scatterbrain to herself in the kitchen. The policeman couldn't believe his eyes. Pirates indeed, he said smiling. I should have known that you'd have something to do with this model, and even less of a surprise, as it's the first of April, April Fool's Day. The first of April, said little Miss Scatterbrain, very much surprised. 
Then it's not my birthday after all. My birthday is in July, I think, she added. Silly me, but do join me for some fruit salad. Onions, tomatoes and carrots with sugar? The policeman wasn't sure he liked this type of fruit salad. Mr. Topsy-Turvy didn't notice how strange it was, because he'd put his ball under his hat. "'I must be going,' said little Miss Scatterbrain to her friends. "'Thank you so much for coming, Mr. Rightway and Mr. Fireman.' And off she drove. In the police car. Thank you for listening.